Hello, Leo. How are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your weekly love reading and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings. All of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angels, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we have going on for you guys. You guys hear the noises in the background? I bought this. Um, I love feeding the birds, okay? It's just it's something I really enjoy. I bought this window bird feeder. It like suction cups to the window so that I could watch the birds eat from inside, right? Um, I also have cats. Every time a bird gets in the feeder, the cats go nuts. It has not... It has, I did not think about that. For some reason, that thought escaped my mind when I was purchasing it. So if you hear that noise in the background, it's just because the birds are in the feeder and the cats are having a field day with it. So we're going to do our best to just push past that here. But Leo, the overall energy for your love situation, we have the Ten of Cups. Your energy, we have the King of Wands the energy of the person you're dealing with or will be dealing with. We have the King of Cups. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Cups. Some of you guys could be dealing with you know, a lot of water energy. You have Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio here. You also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Those are the ones I'm seeing so far, but it could be any. Okay, don't get too hung up on the signs. Um, it is a general reading. So I do feel like so far for this week coming up, it does feel pretty good. You got the Ten of Cups. I feel like you're feeling very happy. You could be feeling very, very attracted to a person. Definitely feeling like there's somebody you're feeling very drawn to and you're wanting to kind of move things forward with things feel very good. This person I do like. I feel like they're in a... I feel mean, like this is somebody who's like very emotionally mature. Somebody who has a lot of love to offer. Okay. I do feel like they're open and they're ready for love. What is Leo's next action towards this person? We have the Nine of Wands. What is this person's next action towards Leo? We have the Hermit. I feel like somebody's noticing certain things, Leo, about you, okay? I feel like this person is somebody who, they could be a little bit older than you, but they don't have to be. I just feel like they're very emotionally mature, okay? And I do feel like, Leo, this person, they see that there's something here that even though you're very attracted to them, you're very drawn to them, they see that you're a little bit guarded emotionally, okay? They could feel like you're a little bit guarded when it comes to love. Like, it's really hard to, like, even though you're fun, even though you want to spend time with them when they're hanging out and there's connection, there's passion, there's attraction, they could feel like it's very hard to connect to you emotionally. Or they could feel like you're very guarded. Even here, your next action towards them is the Nine of Wands. Now, the Nine of Wands is somebody who's been through so much. He's the wounded warrior. You know, he doesn't give up. I don't feel like you're in that space, but I don't feel like you're giving up on love. But I also feel that because of everything that you've been through, you could be a little bit pessimistic or just naturally expecting that something isn't going to work or it's expecting that somebody's going to leave or end, in up, end up being like a liar or a cheater. It's just, it's a very pessimistic view. It's a very guarded view because of everything that you've been through. So I would definitely be careful with that energy, but I feel like somebody is noticing that here um, where they're very open. They have a lot of love to give and they could feel like it's very hard to connect with you you know, on that level. So I definitely feel like that's something that this person has seen. It's like the way that this is laid out here, it's like this person is like shining that light on the situation. This person could even be asking you about it or like making a comment to you, addressing it with you. Like, um, we're going to get into this more, but I definitely feel that here. Some of you guys, they could even with a hermit energy, I feel like they could pull their energy back a little bit because they feel like maybe you're not quite ready for what they're ready for. What is the potential outcome here? We have the Page of Pentacles. Like I said, for a lot of you guys, I feel like this person is going to address it. Okay? They're going to address it. And the advice, you have the Eight of Pentacles. I actually think this could turn out much better than you think. Um, I do feel like, like I said, this is somebody who's very wise, somebody who's very, very observant, very emotionally mature. They're seeing 
you know, this and you, and they're understanding where it's coming from. Like they understand that it's because you've been through a lot. And I feel like somebody's going to be, you know, bringing this up to you. I feel like spirit wants you to really examine what they're saying to you. Okay, as you can see, she's holding up this coin. She's really looking at it. And it's not just the coin, but it's like, look at this, like the Ace of Pentacles. Like I feel like spirit's wanting you to really look at this person for what it is and the opportunity that it could be and not just, um, you know, from past. Try to not punish new people for past people's stuff. Just see it for what it is right here in front of you. And I do feel like spirit's wanting you to examine this opportunity with this person here. A little bit more closely i feel like there's going to be a conversation here i do feel like it's going to end and go very positively um you know the eight of pentacles is like you both deciding to to work on things like this person's like you know what i understand what you've been through and i'm willing to be patient and i'm willing to work on this with you and you're willing to you know maybe work on opening up and it's just a very positive energy both people really focused on the connection and creating something really beautiful together so i also see here for you guys we have sagittarius virgo taurus virgo capricorn um those are the additional signs that i'm seeing so I do hope that this reading helps you guys. Um, like I said, I feel like there could be something really lovely here if you're not too afraid to open up to it or at least give it a little bit of a chance, okay? Um, but that is what I have for you, Leo. I do hope that this helps. Now, if this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements and everything that you will need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you next time.